So for this mac and cheese, you don't have to boil the noodles. It's made with four cheeses and it has a breadcrumb crust. That's just the way I like it. And when I was developing the recipe, I thought I should send some to a friend of mine for a little feedback. She sent me a text afterward and she said, it's redonkulous. And I said, that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> to make this redonkulous mac and cheese, we're gonna start with the topping. You're welcome to use store-bought breadcrumbs, but I like to use one slice of fresh gluten-free bread, put it in my food processor and pulse it a couple of times. And then I add that to the grated Parmesan cheese, truffle salt, and truffle oil. Both of those you can find in most grocery stores now and even Costco carries the oil. Mix it well and set it aside. Next, you're gonna melt your butter in your saucepan and then add in your garlic. I happen to have some roasted garlic on hand, so I use that this time, but fresh is perfectly great. In a small bowl, make a slurry of half and half and cornstarch and then set that aside. Add the remaining half and half to your butter mixture. Get that heated up real well, then add in the cornstarch slurry. Once that gets thick enough that it coats the side of the pan, you'll add in your cheeses. Stir in your truffle salt and pepper and your dry pasta. Get that all combined real well. Now we're gonna generously butter our baking dish, pour in the macaroni and cheese mixture, top it with your breadcrumb mixture and pop it in the oven. And check this out. This is a close up of how amazing it looks when it comes out of the oven. I'm so excited for you to try this yourself because when it comes out of the oven, you can see the breadcrumbs are all nice and toasty and then the cheese is bubbling up underneath and it smells so incredible. I think my friend was right. Actually, I know she was right. This is redonkulously good. You can find this recipe and many more at homewithshay.com. Shay Ryan, ABC Action News.